so here I am today with the Phonic PAA3 that's a RT analyzer with an inbuilt microphone as you can see so this small gadget have like it has helped me a lot in my life from the very initial days so a couple of options I'll be just briefing about this so here are the basic keys these are the scroll keys they are switch on off and also the display light and this is enter or back so we can see there are a number of things over here like uh, this is the level range so this is from 30 to 90 now you can also select it into three steps then you have a weight graph so it may be a c x weighted flat the maximum spl that has shoot up that gets registered over here it's a full frequency bandwidth right now showing and this is again the spl as we scroll it will tell you which frequency it is as we go to the main menu you can see these are the options you have in the spl line you have your different unit dbu dbv or the volt as you want and here we have at SPL because we want to check the sound pressure level in live and or in any kind of menu the RT60 that works with a impulse response or a any quick noise you run it it traces the tail and accordingly checks the RT60 of that room so you can also take multiple traces and average them there is a memory slot so you can store up to 10 memory you have an average thing which you can again average out recall them average multiple traces so you can select multiple traces like this you can go to average run and you can store it in any of the slot a b c d e f a yes and then we can go recall and we can directly go to any of the average and this will be the average of all the stored traces you have taken over the different distances in the venue in settings you have the waiting so flat a and c is what this provides this is a pretty old thing so this is what it has level range you have 30 to 90 50 110 70 130 maximum level <clears throat> whatever it shows in the spl graph you can reset it always so peak hold switch on off so if you switch it on so whenever it shoots up anything it will hold in the graph so as you can see those small tiny portions these are the peak it's holding of each other frequency we also have a pink noise generator a one kilohertz tone and for polarity check we also have a noise then we can also face check so we just put the front microphone to the grill of the subwoofer or anything put a noise check its face helps the time so how I normally work is like for example I'm getting a trace over here like this so I can directly go to the setting memory store one yes escape then I will go to a different distance or a different uh, point and then maybe I'll take one more trace over there putting a pink noise on the system two yes escape and likewise I'll take multiple traces three yes maybe after that some more four yes escape and then I'll go to my average I'll select the slots where I have stored my data go to average run save it in any other slot that is given over here now this is like a real-time thing that's happening be very specific about the positions you choose because the whole point of avoiding coherence and getting a good data out of the traces depends on where you choose to place your microphone when you're using smart or where you choose to be there and take the trace in your phonic sorry about the crack screen this device have been brutally used over the years so likewise I'll go to memory average it out select all my traces go to average run 
select A, yes. Then you can memory, we can recall and go to average. And this is the average graph that we are getting. Luckily, we have the battery low meter over there, so luckily I can show you that also. Also, with that, you have a contrast over here, which works like this. Very helpful when it's a very shiny day. And we switch it off. Thank you.